so after a productive day what we do is day and revision especially before exams where students share whatever they learned individually so that it will be helpful for others the sources they used are very different ariba studied from the icm material and sardak has done it from a question bank and kushil have used some short notes of an author so let's see how it goes kushil you can get started so see now sir the general chief general law sector chief so the first question is which of the following is not an inalienable property as per general law like the options are land building timber and the machine permanently attached to the land see as per the immovable property acts uh, definition it states that the immovable property is an asset that is uh, benefits arising out of the land and thing and it is passed into the earth so Uh, it has the benefits have to arise from the land and it's also to be connected to the land so timber is like uh, it's the only more timber can be considered as more less because the benefits have it's coming out of the land but it's not attached to the land so it is not a immovable property and every act second question is every act uh, has a ha, has which expresses the scope objective and purpose of the act If it's three scope, objective, and purpose of that, it's preamble only. And suppose there's this question: which among the uh, which among the following is not considered as a movable property? First one is soil for making bricks, uh, rights to catch fish, and rights to drain water and door and windows of the house. Drain water. Of course, drain water it's because it's it is not uh, it does not cover any movable property. Actually, it's drain water. And then suppose there's an act passed by the parliament, and it doesn't specify any particular date, or uh, it's not particular. It does not has any specifies any date. So what would be the date? Assent of president. Assent of president. Assent of president. If the date is stated, it will be acted from that date. If it's not, then act whenever it receives the assent of the president, mm-hmm. uh, it will be implemented. It will be followed. And then. Uh, in the measurement of any distance for the purpose of the central act or any regulation made after the commencement of this act the distance shall unless a different intention appears be as per the map of the boundary yeah a straight line on horizontal plane until any other intention appears a state and let's go to this interpretation of structures in in the role the role in heading scheme is also known as mischievous rule It has, it is, it has. Been. So dash is the cardinal rule of construction that uh, that words, sentences, of and phrases of the statute can be read in their ordinary, natural, and grammatical meaning so that they have effective in their widest amplitude. It's literal construction. In literal construction, you will the language is already clear. There is no need to go beyond the. Uh, Words, so they will just understand the plain upper meaning, what it is there, and they will uh, pass this. When there is a conflict between two or more statutes or two or more parts of the statutes, then which rule is applicable? Welfare, strict, harmonious, or mischief? Harmonious. So harmonious is the it's it's like you have to derive the your statute provisions such a way that it satisfies your objective. There is an internal name that may be added to include something within the section or to exclude something from it. Explanation. Explanation. See, in this option, they give provisio. Explanation. I take the provisio. It is confusing. Provisio is used to remove any special cases from general enactment, so that it provides some speciality. Okay, so it's not provisio. It's explanation. And then dash meaning that. Uh, when two or more words that are susceptible of an similar or parallel meaning are clubbed together, then they are understood in their common sense. Not suppose. Yeah, not suppose. Then, uh, according to Dash rule, the words of the statute are to be given in the plain and ordinary meaning. It's literal rule. There is also golden rule, which uh, tells the logical interpretation of the statute. If it's a logical interpretation of the statutes, the rule is literal. If it's according to the words, it's literal. And then, 
which among the following is an external layer of an interpretation illustration, illustration dictionary uh, provisional clause type so illustrations dictionary provisional clause and type illustrations of course because pro dictionary provision and title are covered in internally mm. and um, this uh, illustrations is covered in external is it within that or outside that so outside it's 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 all both and then the true intention of the legislature cannot be determined by the language of the statute mm. the court can see Indian history or historical background of that statute, negative aspect of the statute or dictionary. Mm -hmm. What? Okay. The true intention of the legislator cannot mm -hmm. be determined by the language of the statute. Mm -hmm. Then court could see the options are Indian history, historical background of the uh, statute, negative historical, by historical background of the statute. This is this thing also an interpretation in term and the last. Mm -hmm. Speak the organ of the following aids to interpretation. Preamble, marginal notes, provision, usage. 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 Mm -hmm. And when an act or omission constitutes an offense under two or more enactment, then the offender shall be liable to be prosecuted and punished under. Anyone under. Either of them. It's I not. Either. Yeah, it's either. Either, either, either is important because anyone, it's, okay. it is not correct. Um, it's when the word says either that is the it's it's like a keyword. It's, it's Form a legal document which creates or confirms the right or record the fact is deed. It is actually document, deed, statue, and instrument. I went with document because it was similar, but document deed are different. Document is written, expressed, or described substance by means of letters. Letters and figures. Letters and figures. So that is document. Deed is so deed is the answer. Now we go to Fremont. Okay, so in this in this one case law they gave uh, Purushottam Saha. Mm -hmm. he, he visits the countries. He goes country to country on a month long business trip. He withdraws 50,000 rupees. Mm -hmm. And then uh, he remits, he again he withdraws 50,000 rupees for his son's education. Mm -hmm. And then for because of her mother is get ill, uh, they, he sends his mother with his wife to his brother's place and for that he withdraws 75,000 extra mm -hmm. and then uh, her, his daughter is about to get married as a destination message, uh, marriage in Switzerland so 35,000 has been uh, withdrawn for him for that expenses also mm -hmm. so in, after all this withdrawals and everything the question asks what is the permission, what is the limit he has to take 250, you have to take it, you have to take 250 if it's a current account transaction, mm -hmm. up to 250 it's allowed. In this also, oh, there's in this thing, until 250 it's allowed, there's no word needed. So he withdraws first 50,000 for himself, for business stuff. Mm -hmm. he, he, he takes 50,000 for his child's education. Mm -hmm. That is also allowed because for each and every person who is visiting for him, you cannot withdraw up to 250,000. So for him, 50,000 is allowed. And then his, his mother who is ill, and, uh, she and goes to see. India, and when she goes out of India, so that she could uh, get cured for it. So, uh, 20, 250,000 is the limit, mm -hmm. and if at all the bills or anything exceeds 250,000, then they need to take approval. By taking approval, then they can exceed the 250,000 dollars. That's one exception. There is an exception that yeah. uh, if the medical uh, institute gets an uh, estimation like mm -hmm. makes it to like 50,000. Mm -hmm. In that case, it remains without any without, approval. Yeah, without any permission, you can exceed yeah. to like 50,000. After obtaining permission from the medical institute of 
for it. Yeah, so if, if you have to actually, you need to submit documents also. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it has to be prescribed to the doctor. So if it's prescribed, you have to submit and then you have to get the approval. And then if, uh, then there's this question, like if suppose uh, this one branch is like, it's a, Delhi, it's a Singapore branch. Mm-hmm. It has a head office in Mumbai. And this head office controls a branch in... Uh, Dubai. Hmm? It's assumed Dubai. Yeah, it's, no, it, like, Dubai is the yeah, corporate. No, Singapore is Okay, fine. Singapore mm-hmm. controlling in, uh, it has headquarters in Mumbai. Mm-hmm. And Mumbai, it's controlling in Dubai. Mm-hmm. Okay, so normally in any definition, person doesn't include agencies or branches. Mm-hmm. But only in FEMA, it includes persons and, in, I mean, just branches also. So what happens is... Uh, no, it clearly so mentions that any person incorporated outside India has a branch, agency or business. Yeah, no, normally if you go and outside, like if any other law, person doesn't include any agencies or branches, but this includes. So if any of your branch or agencies outside, it will consider as person uh, resident in India. I mean, you should... Person outside India is having an agency, branch or... Business. Yeah, that branch business will be considered as person. Sorry, in India. Yeah, then that person in India is called as person, person resident in India. And that person controls any other branch in other country, even that branch is considered as person resident in India. Yeah. Okay. Um, there is a commission limit also. Mm. If you are normally, if you are paying commission, it, it is, uh, you have to get approval from it. But if you are paying it from oh, us, it's prohibited. Commission oh, paid to so ERC. Over here, it's they give like you need to get approval. Mandatory to obtain a period of. What is the limit for commission for? Ten percent of the In case of pay and to get a commission pay. Over here, they give you need to get approval from RBI. RBI. Okay. Seven percent, you need to get approval. Seven percent. No, in the question, it was okay. okay. So if Shahrukh Khan, a film star, requires uh, USD 20,000 to perform along with the, with its associates in New York on the associate, in occasion of New Year for Indians residing resi- in New York. Department of what? Approval? Yeah, from where I will be. He, he needs to get approval from Central yeah, Government. Yeah, yeah. No, no. CG and yeah, yeah, yeah. Department of Central Government is CG. Specific yeah. under and over here it's stated four options. Period of of CG required, uh, approval from RBA, prohibited transaction, permitted transaction. See this provision of this act shall apply to whole of India 